Oh. Eight players, seven of them are honest. One of them is a cheater. Will the honest players find the cheater and win the money, or will the cheater take it off for themselves? Welcome to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. our team of players for tonight one of them has already been made a cheater i don't know who it is but amanda does she picked a cheater at random and she'll have some facts throughout the game for us as well so our team for tonight mike jared john ian susan tom mk and alec and the cheater of course gets all the answers they can make as much money as they like towards the overall team bank but after two questions the team will vote see if they can get the cheater out of the game if they do, they keep all their money. If not, we lose an honest player and we lose half of the bank. So try to find who the cheater is. Play our first two questions here. First question of the night. Name the 10 most important issues to voters in 2020, according to Pew Research, which despite its name is not a religious organization, just a polling site. 30 seconds to talk. Then we go to Mike for his answer. Go. So COVID-19 pandemic is an obvious one. In 2020, yeah, immigration, border control, uh, economy, Supreme Court, abortion, transgender people. rights, maybe. In 2020, I don't know if it was too early for this. Oh, with the army, uh, climate change. Yeah, Gun, guns, with the uh, Paris Accords. Laptop, of course. Reproductive rights. <laughs> um... Um, who is not Donald Trump? <laughs> yes. All right, this time. The number one most important issue is number one for 50 cents, down to number 10 for $5. Mike, see how high up on the list you can go. Uh, I'm going to say that uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, easy one, probably number one. It is actually number four. Huh. Coronavirus outbreak. Well, you know, when half of the voters don't believe it's a thing, $2. Jared. Let's try gun control. Gun control, gun policy, number seven. Yeah, 350. Very good. John. Uh, I'm going to go with women's health and abortion rights. Women's health and abortion rights. Yeah, that is number two, health care. One dollar. Ian. Um, I'll go with the one that I feel like people are screaming about constantly for seemingly no reason, immigration. <laughs> number nine immigration oh, 450. wow yep susan a topic i know too much about now the supreme court yeah we're sorry about that number three supreme <laughs> court appointments 150 sorry that every canadian can name every member of the u.s supreme court and <laughs> most Especially americans most can name ones. a few of them yeah yeah well clarence thomas he's not the most recent but he's the most in the news true tom um climate change climate change uh this kind of speaks to the problem of america at the moment that is not on the board of course oh my not. god <laughs> uh, yeah i know mk uh probably economy slash inflation yeah economy is number one 50 cents and alec education Education. Uh, yeah, again, speaking to some problems that is not on the board. Oh my God. Oh, wow. I feel like we can all have a moment of mourning for America. Let's take a look at what did make the board oh. violent crime, foreign policy, race and ethnic inequality, and economic oh. inequality. Oh, okay. Which I guess is different than the economy. Difference on. between a, a lion and a sea lion. <laughs> right. <laughs> name these fictional characters who have numbers in their name. Number one. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 30 seconds to talk about it, and then we'll go to Jared for his answer. Go. I just need number six and number eight. I know it's from House and Get Smart. Does anyone know either of those? Eight is uh, Agent 99. Agent 99. Okay. Agent 99, okay. Four is six Lucille. Is, Lucille. Oh, nine. Six is Four 13. Is, six is 13. 13. Yeah. Okay. Oh, from House. Okay. I watched um, a great amount of House growing up. What's nine? Nine is from. I, I uh, think it's THX 1138. Yeah, Robert. Dupont. Time. Okay. Jared, you're first. Well, number 10 is number six from The Prisoner. Very good. Number six from The Prisoner. $10. Classic British show. John. Uh, I'm going with number nine, THX 1138. THX 1138, which also became the name of Lucas's uh, sound mixing or something. I think I think in the movie, his name is actually Thex. It was pronounced Thex 1138. Okay, sorry, Thex 1138. <laughs> okay. I'm, not, I'm not joking. I think that's actually what it was. You got, you got the number. That's what matters. Ian. I just like the reference from Fanboys. <laughs> I mean, all I'm thinking is that crazy noise you always hear at the beginning of a movie. Like, right, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. How was that? <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, I'm going to please point. put that at the beginning of this recording. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that's the sound levels. Um, I'm going to trust my teammates and say number eight was Agent 99. 99 from Get Smart is right. Very good. Played by Anne Hathaway in the movie you all forgot existed until right now. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> nope, I remembered. I saw it in theaters. Yeah, I did. I'm just, I'm just going to say the highest one that I know. Five is seven of nine. Seven of nine is right. Five dollars. Tom. Okay, I know that the seven dollar one is a juror, but I don't know what number. Yeah. So I'm going to go with the, you know, with the three dollar answer is Hal two thousand. Sorry, that is not correct. Not Hal two thousand. MK. Uh, I'm gonna go for number four is Lucille two. Lucille two. That is correct yeah. from Arrested Development. Alec. Number one is C3PO. That is right. C3PO. Very good. One dollar. Actually, it's pronounced <laughs> Do you want to tell us? <laughs> it's the three po. It's Cathripo. Cathripo. Okay. Mike. I believe the seven dollar answer is juror number seven. No, not juror number seven. I'm sorry. Number eight? Yeah, number eight. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Damn it. Uh, it's okay. You were only one off. Tom was 7,000 off. It was like nine nine thousand. Thousand. Oh, my. <laughs> it hit me right there. 11 is correct. 11 and, and 13. There's no one with it. 13. 13 from house. Very good. In the bank at the end of round one, $48. Good start to the game. Here are your totals for the round. Anyone suspicious of anyone else? Want to talk it out? I mean, I think Alec was a little suspicious because it looked like you were reading C-3PO for the first time. <laughs> C-3-P-O? C-3-P-O. <laughs> Alec, defend yourself. In fairness, we have a Star Wars pinball machine at my job. In fairness. <laughs> it's a dark Does the pinball machine one. say their names? <laughs> <laughs> Alec, would you like to accuse anybody? No, I'm good this round. Okay. 
<laughs> this isn't here. He's at a loss. <laughs> right. Anyone want to, anyone who accuse anybody else? We have one accusation against Alex. I'm just trying to think of all the people we wouldn't suspect and then suspect them heavily. But the trouble is, I don't know which ones to not suspect. We're early on. Mm -hmm. Still still got to vote someone out of the game. Okay, Amanda has the first totally true fact about our cheater. That's right. So R2-D2 is another character with numbers and his name. Anyway, he... And the cheater have the following in common according to R2D2. Beep, 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 boop, beep, 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 boop, 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 beep. Okay. Wow. And they say AI will never replace us. Okay. I need the eight of you to please <laughs> lock in your votes. <laughs> Initial vote has been cast. Time to see who the first player leaving the game will be. Let's start with Alec. MK. One for MK. Ian. It's pronounced Nook. Uh, I stuck with what I said. I said Alec. Okay. Susan? For novelty, I voted for Jared. <laughs> for novelty, I like that. All right, Mike? <laughs> I voted for the most average because they were the most suspicious by being the least suspicious. So I voted for Susan. <laughs> I want to clarify he means most average score. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm mid, whatever. <laughs> You're <with> Margot Robbie. <laughs> Don't sell yourself short. What's that metric? <laughs> Don't sell yourself 40 centimeters. <laughs> Mill, I think. Uh, Jared, what'd you say? I said Alec. Okay. And John, who'd you say? Uh, I went with Mike. Okay, MK? I also said Mike. Two for Mike, two for Alec. Tom? I'm breaking the tie. I said Alec also. Three for Alec, and he has been voted out of the game. All right, Alec, we have to know. Moment of truth, were you the cheater? I was not the cheater. He was what? not the cheater. I'm sorry you lose half your bank. $24 stays in it. Cheater stays in the game. We'll be right back on Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Seven players left. Talk about your role over here. If at any point during the game you don't know an answer or you want to put another player on the spot, use the rollover under your name. Pass your turn to them. You can each use that once over the course of the game. Continue here with round two. See if you can find the cheater. Name the 10 worst movie musicals of all time, according to a 2020 Saturday Evening Post article. 30 seconds to talk, and then we go to John. Go. How many Elvis movies can I say in one round? Uh, <laughs> I mean, Pops. Into the Woods, Xanadu, Grease 2, Rock of Ages, Elvis Harem Scarum. <laughs> uh, going too fast. How about from Justin to Kelly? Oh, yeah, I had that glitter spice world. Spice Whoa, World. be careful with Spice, Spice World. World's not really a musical. Time. Okay. I feel like we're going to have some controversial reactions to this round. I've already had a couple myself. Uh, John, you're up. Uh, I'm going to do Cats the 2019. Yeah, that's a good answer. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with you there. Cats is number nine, 450. We all agree it would be better if they left the original version. <laughs> the butthole <laughs> cut. <laughs> no, because then there'd just be a whistling on the track. <laughs> there were eight that were ranked lower than cats. According to this article, yeah. Oh, no. I know. Use yes. all nine lives to land it yes. at that spot almost. Um, all right, I'll go with Rock of Ages. Rock of Ages. I can't imagine how that is worse than Cats, but they say it is. Five. I I didn't see it, but I know that everyone I know who saw it was like, "Don't do that to your ears." It's campy as hell, but like, it's not awful. Okay. It, it, Bless you. It, it, it was I, I thought it was fun. It's not good. It's not my favorite. There are other ones on this list that I will definitely go to bat for, but both my sisters like it. 
Yeah, I would agree. There's other ones here I'll defend sooner, but I mean, I'm not going to say Rock of Ages is terrible. Susan? I'm going to guess Xanadu. That is number 10. Very good, Xanadu. Ooh. Oh, wow. Mm, Brian also did good. not like this one when I made him watch it either. I sang along. <laughs> Tom? Okay, someone mentioned Grease 2, which I never saw. So I'll go with Grease 2. I'd have to give a hard disagree to this one, but they say it's there. Number seven, 350. It's fantastic, um, but it's also great. terrible. I love um, it. I have it. And it's on the list of movies that I have to make Brian watch yet. So come on. In case. Um, <sighs> Rent. Rent. Oh, good guess. Does not make the board now. I don't like Rent. It wasn't that wildly popular. <laughs> no, most of us don't like Rent's. I don't think I don't think it got wonderful reviews. I think I think you're within reason to guess that, Mike. So, I do enjoy Into the Woods the musical. I do not like Into the Woods the movie. Into the Woods does not make the board. No, hmm. they're taking it. Again. I guess the music <laughs> saved it. Yeah, Jared. I'm so torn between two answers. Because I think they're either both on there or neither are on there. <laughs> but I'll say paint your wagon. Paint your <laughs> wagon. That, that's a good guess. It's going back a bit, but it does not make the board. No. Oh, we should have made it Marvin. just. What was your, what was your other guess the, that you want to say? The... <laughs> Phantom of the Paradise. Phantom of the Paradise. No, they didn't make it either. No. Okay. See what did. Um, this is a really low budget, I think, religious movie. The Apple. No idea. I know Brian yeah. has seen it. James, uh, I have to. I have to throw out a big disagree with this one because I love this movie. Shock Treatment, the uh, Rocky oh, Horror follow yeah. up from Justin to Kelly. It was on there. Uh, it was because it's terrible. Did someone say it? Nine. They said it in the thirty seconds. They never guessed it. Nine. Mm -hmm. Nine was bad. The pirate movie. What is that? And can't stop the music, which I think is usually. Lumped together with Xanadu, I think. Moving on. Who killed these biblical characters? Goliath, Abel, Judas, Pharaoh's son, a thousand Philistines with an ass's jawbone, John the Baptist, Elisha's mockers, Shechem, Herod Agrippa, and King Eglon. Okay, 30 seconds to talk, then we go to Ian. Go. Oh, God. So uh, Samson sure. killed a thousand Philistines. Pharaoh's son with either God or the angel of death. It'd be the Judas, play. I think, killed himself. Cain yep. killed Abel, and David killed Goliath. So John that's the bottom ben five. Was uh, Herod Adamus? I don't know uh, Herod Agrippa though. Herod Agrippa? Mm. Well, there you go. <laughs> I don't know who killed him either. I just know how his name's pronounced. <laughs> that's helpful. Time, Ian, you're first. <laughs> um. Okay. I know John said the john the baptist one but i don't remember i don't know what he said so i'm gonna play it safe and say number five was samson yes samson with his powerful ass five dollars yes fun fact <laughs> thousands and of hair. sales thousands of sales are killed the same way <laughs> susan i'm just gonna go with cain and abel for number two yep cain is correct two dollars Tom. Okay. I I'm I'm torn on this and I may need some clarification. Sure. I know who ordered the death of John the Baptist. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. That was Salome. We have Herod who actually carried it out, but Salome ordering it is is fine. Yeah, that's that's fine. Six dollars. I'll be lenient with that. MK. Um, I'm going to say David for Goliath just to get on the board. Yep, very good. One dollar. You're on the board. Mike? So, uh, funny thing. Elisha's mockers were just a bunch of kids who called him balls, so he summoned bears to kill them. Yes, he summoned a bear, <laughs> and the bear <laughs> killed him for making bald jokes. Yeah, they would have wiped out the cast of Who's Line Is It Anyway very quickly. Oh, Jared. Uh, Pharaoh's son was killed by God. More specific. 
the God of the Holy Bible. <laughs> God, God, God sent who to do it? The angel of death? Yes, correct. The angel of death. <laughs> and, and John? Uh, Judas killed himself by accident. Correct. Depending on your interpretation by accident or not. Yes. He accidentally hung himself shaving. No, he jumped into his... <laughs> Uh, Shechem was killed by Simeon and Levi. Herod Agrippa was killed by worms. Oh. By, That's uh, how we all want to go. King Eglon, look up his death, is pretty gross, but he was killed by Ehud. Yeah. yeah all right, in the bank at the end of round two. 68.50. Everyone made some money. Here are your totals for the round. What do we think? Just out of gameness i want to accuse mike so bad but he knows so much about so much i can't help it i research too many things it's awesome <laughs> if it helps you i'm terrible at knowing what musicals are or rather what the worst ones are i mean it's a, a cheater would say i be great on that <laughs> I don't think anyone guessed something that would be too offensive, although Mike did guess an Anna Kendrick movie, but, you know. Hmm. Even I've seen what Johnny Depp was doing in that movie, and I understand his guess. <laughs> after Mike said, or uh, after MK said rent, I thought Ian was going to need a defibrillator. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ian. I, I watched that movie so many times in high school. I had a friend who was especially obsessed with it, and... He's yeah, a landlord now. Huh? he's a landlord now <laughs> i actually was uh I, I was asked to play the landlord in a, a stage production of it <laughs> i turned it down but i was asked to anyone want to add anything i'm gonna actually accuse susan because i feel she does know about musicals interesting susan defend yourself I do know about musicals, and I think I get guessed the highest one. I did. You guessed how convenient. <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> he it's hated my Xanadu. Evil plan for knowing things. Nefarious. <laughs> hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Susan, do you like to accuse anybody? Um. No. Okay. Just the mm -hmm. cats movie for existing. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. That's reasonable. We can't vote that out of the game, unfortunately. Rum tub tug this. <laughs> It'll never be voted out of our hearts. <laughs> All right. Uh, Amanda has another fact about our cheater. All right. The cheater was in a musical once that could be considered one of the worst of all times. But really, it was just them singing the song Reproduction from Greece to, to their prom date. I cannot... <laughs> Verify its effectiveness. That's only the movie. I might no, be see, the cheater. That means I can't be the cheater because I never went to prom. Need the seven of you to please lock in your votes. <laughs> votes are in. Time to see if we have found the cheater. All right. Let's start with Mike. I voted for Susan because she confessed. Okay. Susan, who do you vote for? Hitting brother against brother, I voted for John. Okay. John, who do you say? I, I actually felt bad for my accusation on Susan, and I went to MK. <laughs> <laughs> MK, who do you say? I also voted for the younger Schroyer. Two John. for John. Now I don't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, who do you say? Uh, trying to pit brother against brother, I said Jared. Okay. To hit brother against brother, you have to keep them both in the game. All right. Uh, Tom, <laughs> oh, what fair. do you say? Um, I, uh, Mike told me that Susan said uh, said she was the cheater, so I voted for Susan. <laughs> I think Susan said I might be the cheater. I don't think she... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Mike the told Jared. me she was the cheater. <laughs> Jared, who did you say? Oh, this feels good to swing in and save Susan from John. Three for John, and he is out of the game. Oh, Where are you, the I, that was, uh, 
no, I, so you all know I was not the cheater. Not the cheater. I'm sorry. You lose half your bank. 34-25. Cheater stays in the game. We'll be right back on Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Two honest players have been voted out of the game. Not too much closer to finding the cheater, but hopefully this round will help. 34-25 in the bank. Here comes the next question. Name the top 10 jobs that won't exist in 30 years, according to a 2021 Career Addict article. Going to have 30 seconds to talk about it, and then we will go to, let's see, go to Susan for her answer. Go. Do I think Dark drivers, cashiers, cat food, umpires, taxi drivers? And any of the AI jobs like graphic designer or copywriter? Writers. Bank teller. Writers. Chat GPT, give me a story. My job, um, travel agent. <laughs> game show host. I was going to say, I'm hoping game show host is not there. <laughs> Try to have an AI do this. Oh, wait, Wheel of Fortune hired Ryan Seacrest. So, you know. <laughs> Susan, yeah, you're first. I'm going to say bank teller. Bank teller. Yeah, good answer. Number five, 250. Um, I'm going to say librarian. Librarian. Not on the board, no. Good. Good, yes. MK. Uh, taxi driver? Taxi driver. Let's see. Or cab driver? No, does not make the board. Thanks, St. Fiacre. Mike. I'm going to say, like, cashier. Yeah, cashier is number two. One dollar. Good answer. Jared. Hmm. Uh, copywriter. Copywriter. No. Guess I'll still be around in some form. And Ian. Um, I want to say truck driver. Truck driver. Does not make the board, no. Good answers. All good, all good guesses with good logic to back it up. Let's see what made the board. I'm going to say... Travel uh, agent? I'm going to say... Oh, no. uh, <laughs> I'm going to say panda keeper. Panda keeper? <laughs> uh, fast food cook? A barista? Mail carrier? Really? Textile worker? Printing press operator? That's very specific. Oh, wow. <laughs> Stop the Someone presses forever. The referee or umpire, yeah. A retail jeweler That's and a dispatcher. Weird. Yeah. All right. I forgot Next to question. ask, what is this top 10 of? Like, how do they rank these? Just in order of how unlikely they'll be around it. So, years. like, somebody mm -hmm. was really like, well, a robot is going to sell you jewelry and engagement rings. I think, I think they're thinking, I, I didn't read the actual article, but I think they're saying, like, I'm online. <laughs> so, yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna have stores that have jewelry sections anymore in the way that we used to. Um, okay, so apparently we're still going to have truck drivers and and cab drivers, but we're not going to have any dispatchers, right? Right, right. right. <laughs> it's gonna be freewheeling. <laughs> I think they didn't. They're say, just they didn't roaming say the place. Drivers because of Uber, but there's not dispatchers for that, right? That's what I am. Saying. I'm so glad to see that my uh, that my job, Loa Priest, is not going to be obsolete in 30 years. <laughs> I'm glad Bay that my current job, on. unemployed, is also not on that list. We all love baby animals. What do you call the babies of these animals? Kangaroo, koala, wombat, Tasmanian devil, opossum, wallaby, quokka, sugar glider, bilby, and platypus. 30 seconds to talk about Australian animals, and then we'll go to Tom. Go. Hey, Ian, confirm for me that this is a trick and they're all Joey. <laughs> one of them's Mark. It is another one. I think, it's, I think it's mostly a trick. I, I don't Steph know. Up. I don't know what a baby coca is. I don't know what Quokka a baby is. Joey. It's a Joey. Wallabies are Joeys. Then, yeah, Wombats, I think they're all Joey. Wallabies, kangaroos, bilbies. But, plat but platypus isn't a they have, marsupial. They have puggle. It, yeah, platypus. and platypop I've heard too. But I guess like Time. Baby okay, birds Tom, you're first. Okay, you're I'm so glad that I'm the first one here because the only one I know is the one dollar answer. That's a Joey. 
Kangaroo Baby is a Joey. Very good. One dollar. MK. You're going to be disappointed, Tom. Uh, I'm going to say a Wallaby is a Joey. Wallaby is also a Joey. Very good. Six dollars. MK. Mike. I'm going to go uh, because I don't know the correct answers. I'm going to say that a platypus is called Egg. Egg. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> Egg is what you get. Egg. Jared. Wait, I'm sorry. Does that mean a baby chicken is also an egg? <laughs> this is getting into the uh, logistics of the abortion debate, and I don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah. A baby human is called a womb. <laughs> oh, God. So I think capping this list, I'll say Quaka is a Joey. Quaka, baby Quaka is a Joey. Very good. $7. <laughs> <laughs> Ian. Okay. So this is one of the ones I remember because it's such a funny name that it stuck with me. A platypus baby is a platypup. A baby platypus <laughs> is called a platypup. Very good, Ian. It's Ten so days. fucking funny to me <laughs> that it stuck with me. It's better than where platypuses are kept. It's called a platypusery. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, All right, and Susan. Pretty sure a Bilby is a Joey. A baby Bilby is a Joey. Very good. Nine dollars. Take a look at the other answers. What could they possibly be? A baby Koala is a Joey. A baby Wombat is a Joey. <laughs> baby Tasmanian <laughs> Devil is a Joey. A baby Possum is a Joey. And a baby Sugar Glider is a Joey. How do you do? Very. <laughs> A baby and a baby spinoff from Friends. Yes, does not last. Yeah. So what is a baby? Wrote, you gave seven babies seven typewriters, and they wrote the sitcom Joey. <laughs> Very good, <laughs> Ian, for getting the one unique answer on the board. Side of pump. in the bank at the end of round three. Seventy, seventy-five Here are your totals. Two honest players voted out so far. What do we think? thing okay i've seen that before sorry colin everybody's looking up the animals they didn't everyone's know. looking up bill bees that's fine they're adorable the adults are <laughs> called josephs <laughs> females are josephines i don't someone think doesn't it's... make one i'll start taking money okay uh i don't think it's tom i don't think it's me in fact i'm pretty sure it's not me uh i am gonna still accuse susan though why Susan? Uh, because I voted her the last two times, and uh, I'm stubborn. Susan, defend yourself. I can't argue with that logic. He has, in fact, voted for you twice. <laughs> it's math. Would you like to accuse somebody? No. Anyone else want to throw something into the mix? Okay, Amanda has another fact about our cheater. All right, you guys, you'll never guess who the cheater's favorite character from Friends is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Marcel the monkey. What do you think I'm going to say, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> need the six of you to please lock in your votes. Yeah. Votes yeah, are it. in. See if we had any luck finding the cheater this time around. Okay, we're gonna start with Mike. Susan. Yeah, One yeah. for Susan. Susan? I said Mike. Very good. Rivalry continues. Ian, who'd you say? Uh, I wanted to help defend the fact that Susan is not mid, so I said Mike. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two for Mike. MK. I said Jared because I didn't have a good idea. Okay. Tom? Sorry, it, that sounds like I'm, an insult, but it's it, it not a you didn't call it mid, so it's okay. Here, so I said <laughs> Ian. Tom says Ian and Jared. Who'd you say? I said Joey. I mean Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Three for Mike, and he is out of the game. We have to know, Mike, where are you the cheater?
uh, to quote the uh, late great Gilbert Gottfried, uh, you fool. <laughs> you were not the cheater. That is correct, sir. <laughs> Sorry, you've lost half your bank once again. We come back on Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Our five players are going to make a go for immunity. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Down to five players. No cheaters found yet tonight. 35-38 in the bank, meaning it is time for the round four immunity challenge. I will give a question with multiple answers, and the last player standing giving right ones cannot be voted out this round. So, see who the last player standing is. In addition, if the five of you come up with five answers on the board, you get back $10. 10, you bank 20. 15, you get 30. 18, you get 50, and I'm adding another $5 in. So if you get all 20 answers, $165 for you. It has been many, many weeks. Most importantly, last player left standing wins immunity, cannot be voted for this round. So the category is this, movies with the word God in the title. And just so we know, I had to draw the line somewhere. So here is what is acceptable, what is not. God's possessive, or meaning God is, is fine, but the word God's plural is not. So keep that in mind. MK, you are first. Movie with God in the title. I don't know if this counts, but it's all I have. The Godfather? Uh, no, I need it to just be the word God. You can take another okay. guess. It's fine. Another guess. Um, God Only Knows? God Maybe Only Knows. Song. Famous song. Good song. It is also a movie. Very good. God only knows. Hmm. Apparently, God only saw it, too, because no one else has heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jared. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Very good. came out this year. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Ian. That was the only one I knew. <laughs> I cannot think of another. Uh, let's go with uh, the good old G-O-D. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> It's got to be up there. Surprisingly not there. I'm sorry. What? Susan. Children of a lesser god. Children of a lesser god is on the board. Very good. Tom. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, God is correct. And if that was just an exclamation, you're in luck. Because that is a movie. John Denver. MK. Uh, I'm just children of God. Children of God. We have children of a lesser God. Let's see if children of God is there. There we go. Children of God. Very good. Children of God, unfortunately, is there. Yes, it is there. Just snuck in. All right. Got five. You bank $10. Jared. Oh, God, you devil. Oh, God, you devil. Yeah, very good. Where George Burns plays God and the devil. Because no one else was making those movies at that point. Susan. One of my favorites, Agnes of God. Agnes of God is right. Tom. Yeah, I don't know if this is just a song or if it was also a movie. God's Half Acre. God's Half Acre is not a movie. I'm sorry. Down to three. MK. Son of God? Son of God, yeah. It was about Jesus. Very good. It was based on that weird TV Bible series by the guy who made The Apprentice. Mark Burnett? Yes. He had a wow. Bible TV series. It was horrible. It was, and they it was had in so the... much Jesus footage that they made a movie out of it. Yeah, it was in the it. same vein as Son of Kong and Son of Godzilla. Right. <laughs> Jesus came and attacked the Empire State Building. <laughs> it was a lot. Jared. City of God. City of God, very good. Stole mine. Susan? Is there a movie called God Bless America? God Bless America. There is. There is. Oh, probably. Sweet. Of course, horrible documentaries count as long as they saw theater. <laughs> ten answers have been given, twenty dollars in the bank, and we're ten away from breaking it. MK, back to you. God above me? I don't know. 
God above me. You've given some good guesses so far. It all very well could be. God above me, unfortunately, now is not a movie. Down to just two. Jared? Well, let's finally get Nick Cage up on the list and say God of War. Lord of War, unfortunately, God of War is not a Nicolas Cage movie or a movie. It is a okay, game franchise. Then. It's, it's, it's a title. Game. It has one immunity. Very good. Video game. All right, Susan, you can keep going. Well, I can just guess some things that go. <laughs> um, dear God. Dear God. Yes, with uh, Greg Kinnear. Yeah, Dear God is correct. <laughs> Super. Nine to go. Sure. Yeah, I can do that. Playing <laughs> God. That's a thing that people say. Playing God. Who plays God at Playing God? Yeah. It's a movie, 1997, starring David Duchovny. Of course it is. Actually, I Yes, I remember that. that. He was like a he was like a disgraced doctor who got uh picked up by like some underground uh like like mobsters to do their medical work for him. All right, eight to go. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> as great of a title as that would be, I don't think it would be allowed on a movie poster at a marquee. So that is not a movie, unfortunately. But very good. You've won immunity for the round. You've banked $20. What about God's uh, Not Dead? God's Not God's Dead. Yeah, there are five God's Not Dead no. movies. Wow. And you missed all of them. Um, is there God's God is dead? dead? Is there one that's God <laughs> is dead? God's not dead, the wrath of Khan. It's the prequel to God's not dead. It's the one that he's putting the nod over. God, yeah, God's not born. That's the, that's the prequel. God's um, not dead three, exit through God shop. You can... <laughs> you can exit the church gift shop. Uh, you got Oh God and Oh God, you devil, but you actually missed Oh God book two. Um... Let's see. You said City of God, Children of Lesser God, Only God Forgives, God's Pocket, Mad God, The Exorcism of God. Why does God get pockets but not women's dresses? Mad God. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Uh, the like... Herzog film, The Wrath of God. I, I like well, I, I wrote that the down. Of I'm God. like, Herzog movie, I don't know how to pronounce. Yeah, Agir, I'm guessing The Wrath of God. Agir, God's Agir, creatures. Agir? It is terrible. Do not watch it. Which one? Agir, The Wrath of God. <laughs> Uh, the God Committee. Thank God it's Friday. I don't know something. God bless the broken road. I like Jesus, the daughter of God. <laughs> That's one. Of, yeah, Jesus, the daughter of God. It's a movie. Is that the prequel of Lucy, daughter of the devil? <laughs> what would God do for a Klondike bar? God's God's club, bear. which I don't know why you would be a God's club, but it's a movie with Stephen Baldwin, I think. <laughs> God's compass. Yeah, he has a lot. He has a lot of things apparently. So yeah, twelve answers. God, why me? Fifty-five, thirty-eight in the bank. Letters Susan has the immunity; cannot be voted for. Still has to vote though. Talk it out. What do we think? I have no idea. <laughs> Take a guess. You got three of them right that round. <laughs> well, yeah, that's. Someone say something. Sure, I'll accuse MK just to stop the clock. Okay. <laughs> MK, defend yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I I would have tried to get immunity and run up the bank so that you know you kept the money and couldn't be voted out. So obviously I didn't know the answers. Would you like to accuse anybody? Um, no, I'd like to see who I end up accusing <laughs> when I vote. I don't know. Anyone want to add anything? We have a tie. We'll go see what God says. Anna has a fact about our cheater. The cheater originally had misread this and was getting... Movies about dogs queued up. It's a good thing we corrected them there. But here were a couple that they had thought up that they were just going to replace the word dog with God. All gods go to heaven. 
Gaudy style, and the truth about cats and gods. <laughs> <laughs> okay, be the five of you to please lock in your votes. Can I vote for Susan? The lesser dog. <laughs> Votes are in. Let's see if we have found the cheater after four rounds. Uh, Jared, we'll start with you. Okay. Um, I said Tom. One for Tom. Tom? I said Jared. MK? I said Ian. Ian? I said MK. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> four players with four different votes. Susan cannot be voted for and she's gonna break this tie for us. Oh no, I said MK. Oh. Sorry, that is two for MK, oh. and that means we're out of the game. It's a moment of truth. MK, were you the cheater? No, you guys are losing money. She Aww. was not the cheater, she just had the very lucky guesses. I'm sorry, 2764 in the bank. Down to four of you, no cheaters caught yet. We we'll right back on Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Welcome back to Lie, Cheat, and Steal. Four players left in the game, and four honest players have been voted out. Everyone gets to give two answers per question this round. Everyone has a rollover left. See if anything will give the cheater away before we go into our final round. First question of the round. Excluding numbers, name the 10 most popular street names in the United States. 30 seconds to talk about it, then we'll go to Jared for his first answer. Go. Main. Main. Yeah. Park. Elm. Church. Oak Elm. trees. You got Oak. elm. Church. Oak. Willow. There are, there are 5,000 peach tree streets in Atlanta alone. So are there a lot of peach streets? Um... Now I want to live on Peach Street. So, so with numbers, we can't say second or third, right? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, right. That would include numbers. Yeah, Jared, you're first. I guess Oak. Oak, number three. Yeah, one fifty. Named after the professor. Ian. Uh, I'll say Elm. Elm, yes, famous for the hauntings and nightmares. Number eight, four dollars for Elm. Susan. Park. Park is number two, yeah. One dollar. Tom. I'll say maple. Maple. Yeah, number four. No more trees. Two dollars. Back to Jared. And now I'm just going around the Monopoly board. Yeah. <laughs> Boardwalk. <laughs> um, say Maine. Maine is number one. 50 cents. Ian. Uh, church. Church. Surprisingly, not in the top 10. No, it's a good guess. Yeah. Susan. Huh. Uh, Willow. Willow, another tree. Not on the board, no. Huh. Tom. Oh, about south. South. Um, no. Sorry. Huh. Take a look at what made the board. Pine. Washington. Cedar. MLK on there. Walnut. Yeah. And Lake. Now, Washington oh. was the only historical figure on there, unless we're counting as Lake Bell, which I don't think it's a reference to. <laughs> mm -hmm. on. We have a main street, but it's like the state. Hmm. Name these movies that begin with The Man Who by the actor who played the man. David Bowie, John Wayne, that everyone thinks it's Jimmy Stewart, Sean Connery, Billy Bob Thornton, Peter Lorre, or Jimmy Stewart in the remake, Adam Driver, Bill Murray, Monty Woolley, Sam Elliott. And Dan Stevens. 30 seconds to talk, and then we'll go to Ian for his first answer. Go. You know the first five. Well, go for it. Um, man who fell to earth, man who shot Liberty Valance, man who would be king, the man who wasn't there, and um the man uh, who the knew man knew who knew too much. Because I'm pretty Adam sure the Bill Murray was. Oh, go ahead. 
Is Adam Driver the one who, the man who killed Don Quixote? Mm -hmm. Time, okay. Ian, you're first. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure the Bill Murray one is the man who knew too little. Man who knew too little is correct. Very good. Seven dollars, Ian. Susan. Yeah, I'm going to go for number six. The man who killed Don Quixote. Man who killed Don Quixote is correct. Six dollars. Movie Terry Gilliam tried to make for about 50 years. <laughs> then it came out and everyone said, yep. You <laughs> made a movie. One of my favorite movies, uh, $3, The Man Who Would Be King. Man Who Would Be King is right, $3. Jared. Okay, I actually sat on number nine. Sam Elliott, it, as Colin chuckles, rightly so. <laughs> he is uh, the man who killed Hitler and then the Bigfoot. It's correct, <laughs> the man who killed Hitler and then the Bigfoot. <laughs> nine dollars classic title Ian. <laughs> yeah classic <laughs> just the title nothing else it's from like three years ago yeah i've asked many questions about it in the past right <laughs> i'm hoping um, the sequel he finds and kills god so we can throw that on <laughs> no <laughs> it's not by philip pullman <laughs> um i i guess i'll match my other one and say number five is the man who knew too much man who knew too much yeah Jimmy Stewart can't be the original man to hit anything. Susan. I think number four is the man who wasn't there. Man who wasn't there is right. Four dollars. Tom. And the two dollar answer is the man who shot Liberty Valance. That's right. Man who shot Liberty Valance and Jared. One is the man who fell to earth. Yep. Man who fell to earth. Great job. Eight for eight. Go over the other two here. Anyone know number eight? Monty Woolley. Man who came to dinner. And Dan Stevens was the man who invented Christmas. Oh. Charles Dickens, not Jesus. In the bank at the end of that round, 73-64. Here are your totals. Four of you left. Four honest players have been voted out. Talk it out. I always get so stuck at this point. Because I voted for I voted for all of you in the past, and all of you have not been the cheater in the past. Well, they've all been playing this game for a while, to be fair. True. It's not like someone says, oh, Ian's playing this week. He's the cheater, as always. <laughs> well, I mean, Tom says that, but not, not the person passing out the questions. <laughs> True. Anyone want to add anything before we vote? Now, to be fair, Colin, I say that when Ian's not playing, too. True. That's very true. He seems more convinced about it when I'm not playing, actually. True, true. <laughs> Amanda has another fact about our cheater. Yes. So the cheater thought that the street name was going to be Desire. So imagine their surprise when they found out that Desire was actually the name of the car and not the street. <laughs> <laughs> I need the four of you to please lock in your vote. Votes are in. Time to see if we have finally found the cheater, or if we're going into our final round with the same cheater who's been playing all game. We are going to start with Ian. I I feel terrible voting for any of them, but it, I I prepared a, a preparatory retaliatory vote for Tom. Preparatory retaliatory vote is my favorite song from Mary Poppins. Very good. One for Tom. <laughs> Tom, I bet you don't feel as bad if you vote for it. I voted for Ian. One Tom, one Ian. <laughs> Susan? Oh, I also feel terrible voting for anyone. I voted for Jared. One Jared, one Ian, one Tom. Jared, who'd you vote for? I voted for Tom. Two for Tom, and he is out of the game. Jared was, Jared was also doing a retaliatory preparatory vote, but he, he, he got it wrong. Two for Tom, and he is out of the game, and it's a moment of truth. Tom, were you the you cheater? You guys are horrible at picking cheaters. I was not the cheater. Not the cheater. The original cheater 
plays the whole game tonight, and we'll play our final three, having their standoff when we come back on Live Cheat and Steal. Welcome back to Live Cheat and Steal. It's been quite a night because five honest players have been voted out. No cheaters have been found, and now it's time for our final round. If at the end of this, by some miracle, two honest players find a cheater, they will split that bank 50-50. If not, we lose half that bank one final time, and it is up to the audience to vote. They are waiting, but we'll see if you can do it on your own. Jared, Ian, Susan, it is time for the final standoff. We have 36 to 82 in the bank. Time to see how much you can add to it. I'll have your rollovers left. Here we go. Name the 10 most controversial TV shows of all time, according to a 2023 Collider article. 30 seconds to talk about it. Go. Write down All in the Family first, followed by Maud. <laughs> How about Dahmer, since it's recent? Yeah. And then recent, I was thinking South Park and Beavis and Butthead. Maybe like the ending of Game of Thrones. Oh, controversial, like, oh, no. Like people. However different... you want to take that word, it can mean a lot of things. Ian, you are first. I'm just going to stick with what I know and say Game of Thrones. Uh, controversial for the ending and also controversial for the content. Game of Thrones is number 10. Wow. Wait. $5. Wait, the good. content. What? Okay. Uh, lots, lots, and lots. No, of I know it, it, it had a lot of controversial Treatment content. Of women, I don't yeah. disagree. Yeah, Susan. I'm gonna go with Dahmer. Dahmer, or the full title, Dahmer Monster: The Jeffrey Dahmer <laughs> Story. <laughs> Two fifty, very good. What a ridiculous title based on the novel pushed by Sapphire, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all in the family. All in the family surprisingly does not make the board. I think that's a okay. Well, now very controversial. Show. Yeah, got a temperature of the board now. Yeah, Ian. <laughs> um, I'll still stick with what I know. Let's say South Park. You got number ten, and now you got number one, South Park. Yes, Susan. Okay, now I don't have another guess, and now I think that Ian is the cheater. So I'm going to roll over to Ian. Uh, okay, because I Ian, think... are you the cheater? Then give us an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I have a no, strategy. I'm not. I just pick shows that I've seen. <laughs> um, so I I haven't watched all of it, but I'll say Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty, no, is that controversial? Well, I mean, the fans are really controversial. Oh, okay, and the creator, I guess. Okay, yeah, Jared. You should watch them episodes. It might be some. Bit of controversy. I, yeah. Okay. I go with the most violent show I've ever seen. Uh, Criminal Minds. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good guess. Does not make the board, but yeah, it kicks some people off. I mean, Mandy Patinkin left the show because it was so ridiculously dark. Is it that so, violent? But in terms for, of just a, what is dealing with. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. pretty bad. Oh, gotcha. Take a look at the board. Uh, this lasted one episode. It was so bad it got canceled. Hi, all honey. I'm... I got. I got to ask: no, Is uh, is American no, Horror Story on there? Surprisingly, no. But yeah, this Hi, all honey. I'm home was the uh, Hitler sitcom. Okay. Uh, Saturday Night Live. I don't know. What? <laughs> Probably okay. for the same reason as sure. number two, and that it tried to make fascists funny. Uh, <laughs> Jerry Springer. Oh. Mm. Jackass. Uh. 24. Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead. Skins Oops. and Buckwell. I mean, 24 because like every week he just violated every law and <laughs> man was the hero. Well, he was on the clock, Colin. Oh, okay. was pressure. <laughs> Time is Moving money. On. Name Tom Cruise's character in these films. First or last names are fine. Mission Impossible, Top Gun, Interview with the Vampire, The Firm, Born on the Fourth of July, Days of Thunder, The Color of Money, War of the World, The Last Samurai, and The Mummy. 30 seconds to talk, then we go to Susan. Last chance to make some money. Go. 
Ethan Hunt, Maverick. Yeah, it's but okay. Maverick's not his name. That's okay. They can get the best okay. I got. Oh, okay. Top <laughs> okay. Days of Thunder is cold trickle, right? It is. <laughs> Interview with the vampires with stat. I'm out to see on the other ones. Time. Okay. Susan, you're first. Yeah, I'm going with Cold Trickle, Days of Thunder. Days of Thunder, Cold Trickle. And if you think that's bad, the guy he was named after, famous NASCAR driver, I'm not kidding, Dick Trickle. <laughs> <laughs> Cold Thunder. Cold Trickle and, and his and his friend Warmstream. <laughs> <laughs> Jared. In Interview of the Vampire, he played Lestat. That is right. Lestat. Three dollars. Ian. So can I just say Maverick for Top Gun? Yeah, absolutely. That's the name everyone calls him. I will accept Maverick. Okay. Two dollars. You know it was Pete? No one knew it was Pete. Susan. <laughs> I think Born on the Fourth of July is Ron Kovic. Kovic. Ron Kovic is correct. Yeah, real person. Five dollars. Jared. Um, it's impossible. Ethan Hunt. Ethan Hunt. Yep. And one more for me. Ian. All right. Just because I think she's more likely to get one than I am, I'm gonna roll over to Susan. All right. Susan. Yeah, because I totally know the rest of them. The color of money um steve stevenson <laughs> sorry that is not right no it's it's Take Esteban, a look at the other Esteban. anyone know these the firm mitch mcdeer the color of money he is vincent laria war of the worlds ray farrier because i totally believe tom cruise is a person named ray uh, the last samurai, he's Jim Samurai. No, it's <laughs> Nathan Algren and Nick the movie Morton. no one saw, Nick Morton. I actually I, saw I just, I just remember you them. saw that? Yeah. It's all. In the bank. Like, like the final bank. Eggs. Jared, Ian, Susan. 6182. If we finally find the cheater, the two honest players are going to split that. Here are your totals for the whole game. Talk it out. What do we think? It's yeah, not me. Riddle. So, guys, which one of you is it? Not me. It's not me. And my problem with both of you is each time you guys are the cheater, you don't use the answers, and you guys just know everything anyway. <laughs> so, like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is just a 50-50 for me. Well, if you look at the scores going back through the whole game, I have not known much most of this game. Yeah, but you gave me a bunch of answers, and I stole them from you. Oh. Would the cheater do that? Yes. People always ask where the steal comes into the title, and there you go. Yep. Just Jared <laughs> says a bunch of answers at the beginning, and I'm like, there we go. Yoink! Anyone want to add anything before our final vote? Fight, 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 fight. Okay, Amanda fight. has a final fact about our cheater. I do. The cheater just wanted to make a joke about Tom Cruise, but alas, the cheater came up short. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need the three of you to lock in your final votes. That was All right, Jared, Ian, Susan, it all comes down to this. 61-82 in the bank, and it is time for the final standoff. Whatever player gets two votes is out of the game. Let's see if the two honest players can take it home. Jared, we'll start with you. Who'd you say? I flipped a nickel, and it came up beaver, so I said Susan. <laughs> <laughs> One for Susan. <laughs> Susan, who'd you say? I said Ian. One for Ian. It comes down to Ian's vote. Ian, who'd you say? 
She's still not mid, but I did vote for Susan. Two for Susan, and she has been voted out of the game. And that was the ultimate moment of truth. We have to know. Susan, 6182, were you the cheater? How dare you impugn my beaver? I was <laughs> not the cheater. <laughs> Oh, she said the thing, and she was not the cheater. I'm sorry. <laughs> 91. In the bank, and we are down to just two players, Jared and Ian. One of you has pulled the other. And we are playing for our final bank. You're each going to have 15 seconds to defend yourself, and then audience is going to vote. If the majority of the audience gets it right, cheater's out of the game. Honest player gets half of that bank. Every correct voting member splits the other half. If not, the cheater wins the full 3091 and has played a perfect game. So 15 seconds apiece, then we'll vote. Jared, you're first. Go. Um, it's Ian. It's Ian. It's Ian. 15 seconds of apologies to Susan. It's Ian. It's Ian. It's Ian. It's Ian. I'm sorry, Susan. It's Ian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ian, top that. 15 seconds. Go. <laughs> I mean, first, I just want to say, I think Mike's brain is in an absolute catastrophe mode right now. Um, but second of all, uh, I'm so sorry, Susan. I flipped a coin and I was wrong as well, except it was just a coin in my brain and I was still wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> all right. I need everyone who is not Jared, Amanda, or Ian to cast their final votes. <laughs> Jared, Ian, it all comes down to this. We have seven players who have cast seven votes. One of you is about to be voted out of the game, and the other one is going to win. Before we reveal the votes, time for the moment of truth. We have to know, one of you has been cheating all game, and it's time to reveal yourself now. Jared, Ian, who was it? It was me. It was Ian. All right. I hate it. It's awful. He was ask. He was hoping for so long for you guys to vote him out. <laughs> I, I thought at the immunity challenge, or right after that, I was going to get voted out. Did you actually know Platypus? You didn't even get a lot of votes. No. All right. So if four of the votes are for Ian, he is out of the game. Jared gets half of that bank. Correct voting members split the other half. If not, Ian walks away with the entire thirty ninety one. Let's see. CK, we'll start with you. Who'd you say? It was Ian. It was Ian. It was Ian. It was Ian. <laughs> we have a Guinness record for most times Ian's name has been said in a game. Not counting the Oops All Toms edition. One vote for Ian. <laughs> Beers, who do you say? Well, I wasn't convinced by the it was Ian, Ian, Ian argument, so I flipped a coin and landed on my balls, so I pushed Jared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think about the implications of that, so let's move on. John? Uh, I thought it, if it was Ian, he was the best actor of all through it all, so I went with Jared. Ian, John thinks you're the best actor. He works Thank in you college, so much. So. Sharknado level. <laughs> you, you were like rent landlord level actor. <laughs> so I'm mean, on the same level as Tara Reed. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best Ian in Sharknado, and there is one. So. There's, oh, is, he's, I, he's Ian. Yeah. Oh, he's Ian. Oh, okay. No, sorry. seriously. <laughs> yes. All right, uh, Mike. Who'd you say? I was suspicious of someone who, at the very last opportunity, said, "Oh, I flipped a coin," as if that wasn't the most important decision to make. So I voted for Jared. They both flipped a coin. Okay. <laughs> Three for <laughs> Jared. <laughs> But don't Nancy. worry, Jared. Tom's up Has next. Tom, who just forgotten say? the Pokemon coin? Do you really <laughs> hit things? <laughs> it's Ian. It was not Ooh. Ian, but it is Ian. You got it right. Very good. Two for Ian, three for Jared. MK, who'd you say? I didn't believe his song. I'm sorry, Jared. <laughs> That's enough. Jared is out of the game. And Ian is our winner tonight. He has pulled everyone. 3091 is his prize. He has dumped us all. Ian takes home the prize, but I guess Susan voted for. Oh, I voted for Ian. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Three of you did vote for Ian, but he just missed it. Ian you is our winner. You didn't trust his, 
You didn't trust That's his That's their game zeroing. that White Teams steal. Thank you, everyone. It's going to be called pitch. It's going to be called pitch imperfect. I feel like because they're like a weird marsupial. No, Ross was the armadillo. I I don't think <laughs> armadillos are. <laughs> I don't think they're marsupials, and I thought that that was the rule, that if it's a marsupial, then they're called the joey. Then they're joeys, yeah. Armadillo babies like are called pups. Half marsupial, or like almost they're, they're marsupial. They're placental though. mammals in the order Singulata, apparently. Yeah, their babies um, are called pups. They were called armies, but then, you know, the army hammer scandal. <laughs> <laughs> and they're really creepy looking. Armadillos? Baby armadillos are well. Grown up ones freak me out too. But <laughs> I think they're really cute, no, and then like their bellies are so there. hairy. It's all problematic. Their bellies are probably really ticklish. I'd imagine. I like them, but it's so sad. Like, there's two reasons why they're roadkill a lot. First of all, they don't they have eyes shine, and second, their their instinct, their like natural instinct, is to pop up. So they pop up into the undercarriage of the car. Oh, Ugh. that's Ugh. terrible. That is terrible. They think they're invulnerable, and so they don't challenge God. Well, I'm getting rid of the most common roadkill question in round five now. because. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. So, okay, I'm sorry. Can someone explain why Elisha is able to summon bears? Uh, <laughs> he prayed really, really hard. He had a it's pokeball a that had a bear in it. <laughs> he's he already a, leveled uh, up and he earned a bear. In, in Earth's he, ring, of course. He's a well, biblical prophet, so a he has uh, direct uh, messages with God. It was a bald joke, so he wanted to kill them with the hairiest thing he could think of. He was warging into a bear. <laughs> I mean, warging makes the most sense to me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> like, the rest of this sounds like nonsense. <laughs> what kind of bear? Panda. Panda. <laughs> <laughs> hey God, I know I'm bald. Can you do anything about these kids making fun of how bald I am? Oh sure, yeah. Let's uh I love that God didn't like magically restore send his a bear. Hair. He just, like, just send out a bear and kill him, you know. Right. Like, all the things, of of all the things I could do. Like God just right. murder the children with a bear. <laughs> I forget if it was 5,000 or 10,000, but the last thing Samson did is he knocked over two pillars and killed everyone inside of a building, which means that a building yeah. was supported right. by two pillars within arm's length. So mm -hmm. I've had that I've, I've had that as a question before about famous biblical deaths. Yeah. Uh, I see. It's Ian. It's Ian. 15 seconds of apologies to Susan. It's Ian. It's Ian. It's Ian. It's Ian. It's Ian. I'm sorry, Susan. It's Ian. I'm just glad a beaver was involved.